Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to look at the KCSE 2023 Mathematics Paper 2, Section 1. Solve the equation. This is number one. Then we are given a one plus the logarithm of 2x minus 9 equals to the logarithm of 3x plus 5 minus the logarithm of 2. Therefore, what I'm going to do in this case, because of the constant at this point, I'm going to introduce the logarithm to base 10 of 10. Because we know that uh, the logarithm of any number to its base equals to 1, then it means the value of 1 will be equivalent to the log of 10 to base 10 plus logarithm to base 10 of 2x minus 9 equals 2. The logarithm to base 10 of 3x plus 5 minus the log to base 10 of 2. Then now we can apply the other law of logarithm which says if we have a positive here, we multiply the numbers. And here we have a minus like in the right hand side, we divide. Therefore, we will take the logarithm to be 10 of 10 multiplied by 2x minus 9 equals to the log to be 10 of 3x plus 5 divided by 2 because this is a minus. Therefore, now, because we are done with applying the laws of logarithms, we can equate now, after dropping the logarithms, the right hand side and the left hand side, whereby this is 20x minus 90 equals to 3x plus 5 out of 2. Therefore, 2 can multiply both sides, so that uh, when we multiply by 2, the left hand side becomes 40x minus 180 equals to 3x plus 5. So we're going to group like terms and uh, we're going to have, you know, this is going to be 40 minus 3, giving us 37. 37x equals to 180 taken to the other side becomes a 185. So to remain with x, we have to divide 185 by 37. And this gives us exactly 5. So the value of x is 5. We can look at number 2, which says the masses of two students in a class were measured as 30.5 kilograms and 36.8 kilograms. Determine the least possible difference in the masses of the two students. So for us to get what we call least possible difference, we first of all going to calculate the limit within which two masses have been recorded. Therefore, they have both been recorded to one decimal place. And that means the absolute error in the recording, because of the one decimal place, is going to be 0 0.1 out of 2, which is 0 0.05. Then now, we're going to say the first mass, 30.5, has been recorded within 0 0.05, I'll get those values, and 36.8 has also been recorded within an absolute error of 0 0.05. Therefore, when we subtract here, we're going to get 30.45 up to 30.5. And also this one ranges between 36.75 all the way to 
So that is the range within which the masses have been recorded. In other words, for 35, for 30.5, 30 the maximum mass is 30.45 and the maximum is 30.55. For 36.8, minimum will be 36.75 and maximum will be 36.85. Now we determine what we are calling a, the least possible difference. First of all, the greatest difference will be between the maximum value here and the least value on the other case. That means the least possible difference, the least possible difference is going to be between the least value here and the greatest value on the other side. Therefore, when we take 36.75 and we subtract 30.55, we're going to get the least difference between the two masses. So 36.75 minus 30.55. This is going to be 6.2. This is going to be the, the least difference. If we wanted the greatest difference, we could have taken 36.85 minus 30.45. And this could have given us 6.4. So that is the, the least difference. In the next question, number three, we are making a X the subject of the formula. And uh, for us to make X the subject of the formula, I'm first of all going to, because of the square root sign here, which is in the denominator, I'm going to square both sides. Therefore, A will become squared. This is equal to B squared X squared out of, now after squaring, the square root sign will disappear at that point. Uh, all right. It's good to notice that uh, the denominator in this case is a difference of two squares. But anyway, because we are making subject of formula and not simplifying, Allow me to cross multiply with x squared minus nine, because this is out of one. When I cross multiply, b squared x squared remains the way it is. But on this side, we shall have a squared x squared minus a, a squared times nine, or rather nine a squared. So now the terms with x can be taken to the same side whereby i'm now going to bring 9 a squared at this point then now i have a squared x squared minus b squared x squared so at this point we can um, this point we can factor out x squared so that we have 9 a squared equals to x squared into x squared into a squared minus b squared so that to remain with x squared then i can divide it through remember we have nine a squared already so i'm dividing through by a squared minus b squared therefore at this point now we can take square roots for both sides. Therefore, when I take square root for both sides, now I'll remain with the value of x, which is equal to, there is a square root for the denominator, which will become a 3a, then out of the denominator, we can obtain square root plus or minus the square root of a, a squared minus b squared so that is uh, the subject of the formula you can also have it as it's not a must b square root of a minus b a plus b when the difference of two squares in the denominator has been uh, simplified thank you for following 
subscribe and share.